we've done. Leader Resident Judge Justice Alex Mackay Ajich has warned the police and judicial officials to resist from demanding for money from arrested suspects. According to the judge, several files have disappeared after the owners failed to bribe the judicial and police officers. The judge was responding to issues raised during a one-week legal aid camp at Mayor's Garden in Lira Town. A court, Grace Akulo, a senior legal officer of Facilitation for Peace and Development, said the majority of the complaints they registered during the camp touched on the police, judiciary and individuals. You find that um, a lot of injustices are being given to, uh, to those who cannot really afford to bribe, those who cannot really afford to pave their ways to uh, actually offer anything in kind or in what to the police officers. A court said they registered 112 complaints, out of which 75% touched on the police and 25% was against the judiciary. The Women Hunt for Glory at this year's Nile Special National Open Pool Championship commenced at the Bar Arena on Amirembe Road with four ladies qualifying at Lugogo National Open Pool Championship. The night winner was Rashid Mutesi from CKI Pool Club who thumped Justin Nampewa from Elite Kelvin in Masaka 5-0 in the best of nine final. Rema Nakaima from Montinda Giants took the third playoff slot edging out teammate Nawire 3-1. The four semi-finalists joined the top four seeds Rita Namsima, Vicky Namianja, Angela Businje and Sharon Mirembe in Lugogo Tro. Only 24 players are left to make the 32 players who will feature at Lugogo Nile Special Ladies Pool Open. <laughs> Tanzanian lady golfer Nema Olumi is the champion of the 68th Castle Light Uganda Ladies Championship after toppling a strong field at the Lakeside Pass 71 in Tebe Golf Club course. At the start of the 2018 Castle Light Uganda Ladies Open Golf in Entebbe on Thursday, Tanzanian golfer was out of reach for the five names that could challenge for the victory after 54 holes of action in three days. Olomi was not even part of the last evening's pressure group of our Irene and Martha. Depending on how I've been performing, I'm so pleased that I've fought to the end. I'm really pleased to be there. The handicap of five golfer recovered from a dismissal slow start on day one when she played nine over per 80 to win the most converted ladies top prize in the Uganda golfing fraternity. And across the sea, a powerful storm which killed dozens of people in the Philippines is now making its way across southern China. Tapun Mangkat is one of the most powerful storms to hit the region in decades. <laughs> Two people have been confirmed dead in the Chinese province of Guangdong, according to a state media. More than 2.5 million people have been evacuated in the same province. In Hong Kong, the storm wrecked buildings and shut down the city. The tampon is now moving inland and is expected to hit the Chinese region of Guzhong and Yani later in the day. The Philippines 33 miners have been confirmed dead and at least 29 are missing after a landslide hit a mining site in Togon in Begot province according to local reports. In Hong Kong which was hit hard over the weekend, videos on social media showed apartments swaying in the wind, scalding, rushing to the ground and commercial buildings with windows shattered. A look at the latest news highlights for now. Thanks for watching.